21 years of my life, I have been serving a nation, working so hard just to become an example of what wealth looks like. And building wealth comes from knowledge, it comes from wisdom, it comes from understanding. You need to get this value from your own surroundings. I grew up partly in Ghana, partly in England, and I came back to Africa. 2001, unlike Martin Luther, I did not have a dream, I had a vision. I started watching the youth and the streets and the roads, the rules and the regulations, the conditions and the constitutions that is depleted and embedded on us as Africans. I had to walk on a different path and I was alone. My investment on the roads became a landmark. And whatever I invested on this landmark is a footprint. I am here for a legacy. I am part of your historians. That I know many people want to see the true side of me. I know you know Nana Kwame Bediakon, but I know you're still looking for freedom, Jacob Caesar. Yes, I am Rick Christened, and I'm here. I'm not here to take your value. I'm here to add value to you. I discovered that the land that we belong to had so much wealth that until we turn it into our own, our economy will never be sustainable. And we cannot forever leave, leave in our countries with a box economy. I needed to create a middle income economy without being a part of the government. Why so? Because I believe it's part of my responsibility. I took a different path. My movement, my foundation, my groups, and all of this have acquired some wealth. But the wealth that I reimbursed back into society, it has become a part of my mission to make this change. I believe that I belong to Africa. I am a son of this soil. And I can add value to humanity. And I came here to do that. I came here to add value to this world and to nature. I am not going to live here without God even being proud of me. And when I'm not here also, I want you to remember that I came. And I want my absence to be felt. And for that reason, I know you're looking for the man. But a man in a mask is sitting in front of you. I am nothing to be scared of. I came to you as your salvation. I don't invest in myself alone. I am investing in you. And truly, these innocent leaders sitting beside me, of course I will not go to them and tell them that, hey, I am a man in a mask, and I want you to come to Ghana to support me to do this and this. And this man of this dignity, and this woman with such power will say, yes, I'm going to follow you to come to Ghana to do your convention and all of that. No. It is part of the movement. We need to educate. We need to uplift our children. We need to voice out to them. If you are about to find out about this man in the mask, because I never spoke a word, you were looking for me. I didn't tell you whether I am into politics, whether I am an evangelist, whether I am a conventionist, or a revolutionist. After this day, you will have to wait for me to share my policies and my visions with you. And if I'm the reason why the country or the government is not happy about these great voices coming to educate not only Ghana, but also Africa, then I take this moment to sacrifice myself, to unveil myself, because I have much respect for these great leaders beside me. It would have taken my own time to tell you that I am. But for this very moment, I am sacrificing myself to let you know that I'm that man. But I'm that man with a good purpose, with a great vision. I have a plan and I have a vision for this nation. And not only this nation, I have it for Africa too. 
But I know Africa is the next biggest thing because out of all the continents that have been developed in this world, there is only one continent that is not developed. And I am sent to do that. I am not interested in people's positions. I am not interested in presidential positions. I am interested in the regions and the humans. I am interested in the countries. I am interested in the continent. The resources here, the human resources here, the great opportunities to be able to prove a point to the world that this is what we can make out of ourselves as a black society. We have been doomed and disrespected and devalued by everybody in the Western world. My pain is in my heart and I can't express it to you. So I let my actions speak for me. I want to thank you very much for this moment. And I want to thank mm. greatest leaders. Your voice would not, mm. would never leave us as Africans. Mm. And it's the beginning of a new Africa, a new nation, a new dawn, a new mindset. Everything is new. Thank you.